And that's all for now. Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn some basic cryptography. All you need to do this is a pencil and eraser, or just a pen and some paper. The optional thing would be an index card for your key. Now, all you need to do this is, this is based off of, let me just start from the beginning. It comes from Caesar Cipher, and that would just be where Julius Caesar, when he was sending messages, he would just move the alphabetical letter one down. Then, they made another later on, I don't know when. It was uh, ROT13, rotate 13, and all you do is you just rotate the alphabet 13. To do that, easiest, you create a chart of 13 of the first letters over the 13 of the other letters, and then you just transpose between those. But the thing about that is, is most people know that trick, and it's easy to break. So now there's ROT26R, rotate 26 revision or something. I don't know, but it works really good. Now what you do is you scramble up the alphabet, alphabetical letters, and then you create the same chart and everything else. But it's much more uh, it's much more secure because unless they have that key, they're not going to be able to decrypt the message. Now, I'm going to show you with some pencil and some paper, and this is what you would do. Um, I don't feel like writing with my left hand. So, let me see how I can get this. Alright, hopefully now you can see what I'm doing. Alright, that's good. Now, um, let me just finish. Alright, this is what you'll want to do. You'll want to write down the alphabet for, say, A, B, C. Okay, so I'm just gonna rush again. You're gonna want to write down your alphabet, and you're gonna want to choose random letters. So let's just say like A I or whatever. No, we don't want A first. So we're gonna say B I A. Um. Okay. So you're just going to create a random key, and then once you create this random key, you're going to create a chart of 13 over 13. So it'd be like... So this is just a sample chart, really quickly. You create it into this key, and then you just transpose this crap. You would substitute, and then to go back, it would just so to say bad, and this would be M. Wait, no, no, it would be L M Z, and that's bad. And Z. A is M, B is L, Z is D. Well, it would just go back to bad. And this way, it's easy to learn. Once you memorize your key, much easier by creating it into a chart like this. You'll create the alphabet from here. The alphabet from here. Uh, the first 13 letters of the alphabet, what it trans what substitutes to on the bottom of it in that chart, the other 13 letters of the alphabet below that, and then what that goes to. And you learn it much easier. And what you would do is you would write your key down on a note card. Once you memorize it, you can give it away or whatever. I don't care. And you would handle that you would hand out the key to people and once they learn it now you can write notes in class and everything else and